An older man on a widescreen television is speaking in a broad New England dialect that recalls the unhurried pace of a dray horse. The man's head is long and horse-like, handsome even though he is in his late sixties. He looks down at a paper, then up at the viewer. Up at Andrew. But he doesn't see the younger man. Not yet. It's still just a tape. His life actually depends on obedience to spiritual principles. If he deviates too far, the penalty is sure and swift. The man drops his eyes to the paper. Bill, he sickens and finally dies. Andrew knows the man will look up at the camera before speaking again. Bill Wilson, it's Andrew Blankenship. Andrew Blank? Recognition steals across the older man's face. The trap door is open. The dead man in the grainy color home movie becomes a little blurrier, but now he is awake, aware. He pokes his horn-rimmed glasses up on his nose and squints at Andrew through the television. He is off script now. His surroundings are frozen. The tape stops turning in its machine. The lights in the media room are warm and reassuring. Not bright, but neither dim. Andrew doesn't know what he looks like through the television from there. Neither does he know if he is communing with a soul or if he is somehow snatching conversation with the man in his own time. What he does know is that the dead souls or the encapsulated intelligences or the shades in Hades or whatever they are remember him when he finds them again. There is continuity. Where are you? Bill says, squinting. I'm at home. That's right. You do this from your basement, right? Yes. Yes. 